Dynamic input. So far we learned a few methods how to create lines and input coordinates into AutoCAD. Right now I have dynamic input turned on. I'll go ahead and turn it off really quick. Just for a refresher, we can go ahead and activate the line command. Click around by inputting points with the left mouse click. And we can also come to the command line and enter a coordinate. For example, 0, 0 and press enter. And we can right click on the screen and also access a menu for a close and undo. I'll go ahead and click close for right now. So, so far we've used various methods to input points into AutoCAD. I'll go ahead and delete all this by first selecting it. And then I'll hit the delete key. And now let's take a look at dynamic input. That can be found here. I'll go ahead and turn that on. And as you can see, I can push F12 to toggle it on and off. So there it's on, and now it's off. We'll go ahead and leave it on. We'll activate the line command. I'll go ahead and instead of specifying a point by clicking or entering a point here in the command line, you notice that now I have a tooltip that comes up that says specify the first point, and it's waiting for two coordinates. Let's give it some coordinates. In order to do that, you go ahead and just type two, and to get to the next box, you push tab, and there you go. I have a lock next to two, so my first coordinate can't be changed anymore. If you want to cycle back around and change it though, you can go ahead and press tab again, change it to a new coordinate, and to push tab, and now we're locked at five. Let's go ahead and finish this with a three, and press enter. Now we specified the first point. Now for every point after that, we need to give it a length and an angle. So let's go ahead and try and do that. Let's give it a length of four. We'll press tab in order to access the angle. And now if you notice that our length is locked in at the point that we specified, which is four and we can give it anything we want for the angle. I will give it 30 and then press enter. And there we go. We found our next point relative to the point we first specified. So let's do it one more time. But this time I only know the angle and I don't know what the length is going to be yet. So I can go ahead and jump to the next box and type in 45 and push enter. And there, my angle's locked in and since I pushed enter instead of tabbed I went ahead and accepted the value that where my cursor was for the length. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. I'll go ahead and push tab to go to my angle. This time I'll put 15 and now in order to specify the length you click or push tab and now I'm locked in at an angle of 15 but I just need to specify the length of my line. I'll go ahead and give it a length of 5 and push enter. And there you go. I have three line segments so far. And as you can see, I also have my object snap turned on. So if I want to ever come back and select the point that my object snap picks up, I can go ahead and click that as well. And you can see I have a couple points that are being highlighted for me. Let's go ahead and make one more point that comes down here. So we'll make a straight line. I'll go ahead and tab over. And as you notice, my angle going this direction is positive, going this direction is positive as well. But if I come up here and if I want my angle to go down, I have to enter a negative sign. I'll go ahead and swing down, put 90, tab, and there's my straight line. I'll go ahead and just click anywhere on the screen, and there's my next point. Now also notice next to the specify next point, there's a little box with the down arrow. You can go ahead and hit the down arrow on your keys, and you can pull up a menu which is the same menu as here from the command line. I'm going to click close. And there you go. There's the shape that we made. Now we learned how to enter points simply by activating the command, clicking on the screen directly, using absolute and relative points within the command line itself, and by using the dynamic input. For new people, it can also be useful to